Exercise 17 asks us to compute the missing amount in each of the following separate companies A through D. Company A has equity at the beginning of the year of zero. Owner investments 110,000. Owner withdrawals are unknown. But we know that net income for the year is $41,500 and the ending equity balance is 102,000. So we can set up our equity T account beginning equity plus investments plus net income minus owner withdrawals minus any net losses yields the ending equity balance. Remember equity sits on the right hand side of the equation and has a normal credit balance. The beginning balance is zero. We know the owner invested 110,000 and we know that the company had net income which means they couldn't have had a net loss and the ending balance is 102,000. So we need to solve for the withdrawals. Zero plus 110,000 plus 41,500 minus the withdrawals equals 102,000. 151,500 minus W equals 102,000. And when we subtract 151,500 from both sides, we have negative W equals negative 49,500 the withdrawals are 49,500. Company B. Again, the beginning equity is zero. The amount of owner investments are unknown. The owner withdrew $54,000 in the current year and the company generated $81,000 in net income. The ending equity balance is 109,000. Beginning balance of zero. Owner investments are unknown. $81,000 in net income, $54,000 in withdrawals, and we know they couldn't have had a net loss in the same period that they had net income. The ending equity balance is $109,000. So our formula becomes 0 plus I plus 81,000 minus 54,000 is 109,000. I plus 27,000 equals 109,000 and when we subtract 27,000 from both sides, we see that I, the investment, is 82,000. Company C. Beginning equity is zero. Owner investments are 87,000. The owner withdrew 20,000 in the current year and sustained a net loss of $4,000 and we're asked to calculate the ending equity balance. This one's pretty straightforward. Zero plus 87,000 we don't have net income because we had a net loss. Minus $20,000 in withdrawals and $4,000 in losses gives us an ending equity balance of zero plus 87,000 minus 24,000. Ending equity balance is 63,000. Company D. Again, beginning equity is zero. The owner invested 240,000 and withdrew 55,000. We're asked to calculate net income for the year, assuming that the ending equity balance is 110,000. Zero plus 240,000 minus 55,000, either plus net income or minus net loss, yields an ending equity balance of 110,000. Our equation is zero plus 240,000 plus net income minus 55,000 equals 110,000. When we combine the positive 240,000 and the negative 55,000, we have 185,000 plus net income equals 110,000. We subtract 185,000 from each side, giving us net income is a negative 75,000. So we did not have net income. The company sustained a net loss of 75,000.